Hey, what's up, guys? I apologize in advance for the production quality, but I want to give you guys a little bit of uh, strategy and some good content on getting a really, really high score in the game of Wadoku. So, in this particular game right here, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and start this game with a relatively high score <clears throat> so you see I'm going to start this game at a, a pretty nice score borderline 3000 score 2969 I'm pretty much knocking on the door 3000 also on the side of that you see my uh, time high score of 4011 but in this tutorial video I'm going to try to show you how to kind of get the high score the high score that you can possibly get by making the best decision now if you look down at the bottom what you will see is I have three block patterns the first one the horizontal pattern of five blocks in a row is grayed out or faded out meaning that I don't have a space to put it I don't have anywhere to, to use it and then I have a, uh, a smaller diagonal a good diagonal as I would say at least it's not the diagonal of death and then I have a small L so I have one kind of uh, difficult block pattern I don't know how I'm gonna get rid of it well to be honest I do but I'm gonna show you guys uh, how I play through it. and then of course the diagonal and then the small L so the first block pattern of concern is gonna be this small L pattern that I am pointing out right now you can see how the board is set up and I can pretty much put it anywhere I can, I can put it over here I can put it right here I can put it right here but as if you can see basically I have about two places that I can put it at namely right here okay and then I'm gonna be able to score all the way down vertically or I can score right here with a uh, the square quadrant right here I can I can score right there so um, basically what we're gonna try to do because now that we're up in the high score, we want to play the best that we can possibly play. How can we score the best and score to where we leave ourselves room to score some more? So let's kind of play through this. Also, let me mention this right here. I also have a, uh, let me see, how many places can I put this? I can put it right here. Okay, I can put this small diagonal, I can put it right here, okay, or I can put it right here, and that's really not um, a piece that, let me brighten the screen back up, that's really not a piece that uh, is going to really affect um, the strategy that I'm trying to show you guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys the play. What I'm going to do, and I'm going to tell you the reason why I'm going to do it. In order to kind of uh, continue to play and continue to get a high score. So, the best decision is going to be to take this this L right here, okay, and score with this vertical right here, okay. Now, some of you guys at home might be like, well, why you want to score on the vertical? Why not score with the quadrant and put it right here? Well, if I score with the quadrant right here take this L and put it right here and score, score with the quadrant 
there's still not any place for this long horizontal pattern right here, right? And there's still not a place for this long horizontal pattern. But if I take this L pattern and score with this vertical first, okay, then I come back with this diagonal, okay? Because remember, you have to think ahead and then come in and then get the quadrant. I can then come back and put this long horizontal at the top. So basically, by playing these blocks in a particular fashion, uh, in a specific order, I can continue to go on to another round and get into the 3000s, which is, you know, pretty nice. Uh, like I said, anybody that can get 2000 or better is worthy of recognition. And if you send a screenshot of your high score to the email in the description, I will update the record books. Uh, here recently, uh, somebody uh, had mentioned that they had gotten a high score, I think in the uh, low 3000s, but they didn't leave a name. Uh, I'm gonna go back and check my email after I upload this video, but they uh, they told me their score, but they didn't leave a name, so I don't I don't. It would be kind of you know silly to update the record book with their name anonymous. So if you're listening, please uh, give me your name. Make sure you leave your name in the email, and I will update the record books accordingly. So without further ado, let's do this. First, we're going to take this and go up here and get that score. Okay. Then we're going to take this up here, get this score. Now we have a place for our horizontal. Okay. And we can live a little bit longer. Now, even though we're going to be able to at least make it to the next round, um, we do have a decision to make. And this is going to be important once you get up into the higher scores. Uh, it's recommending that I put um, the block pattern right there, but I can also even come over one, or I can take it all the way to the corner edge. So, um, what do you guys think I should do? You think I should do what the game is recommending? Do you think I should move it over to the right one uh, block? Or do you think I should go all the way into the corner? I'm going to give you some time to kind of think about that. I already know what I'm going to do. And if you've been watching my videos for any length of time, <laughs> you should know what to do right here. So I'm going to give you all a little time. Now, actually, what the, uh, <laughs> what the game is recommending seems to be like a good play. Because it's, it's almost like you're almost leaving a, a, a whole quadrant open, except for that little corner right there. But from experience, I don't think that's the best option. But we're going to see. Time's going to tell. I'm going to give you some time to kind of look at it and see what do you think that I would do. But I, I, I pretty much know what I'm going to do right here. Yeah. We had 3,021. Uh... We got a while to um, break my all-time record, but uh, we're still going to get into the record books on this score. Now, I'm going to tell you this <clears throat> already, and I'm looking at the board. Even 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 though I know what I'm going to do, I'm still looking at the board to see if there's a better option. Now, looking at the board, remember I tell you guys about edge control all the time? And... Uh, my edge control rule is telling me to take it all the way to this corner, right? But if I do take it all the way to this corner, I can't, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can't come over here and, uh, put and cover up the uh, top of this block up here and take advantage of my one off. And one-offs is always good. Anytime uh, you have a one-off where all, you, all it needs is one block to get a score, you want to take advantage of that. So, Even though I would like that edge right there to sacrifice my one-off, I'm not, I'm not willing to do that. 
always uh, setting up yourself with a, <laughs> a one-off is basically like an alley-oop, right? And uh, by alley-oops, you know, if you do it right in basketball, it's almost a guaranteed way to score. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, create the one-off and see what happens. I got it. I got the one off. Um, I got the one off, but then I also got uh, <laughs> I got a uh, a faded a faded block pattern, and um, <clears throat> you know faded block patterns is you know you really don't want to see those late in the game, but I think that uh, I should be okay. I think I'm still gonna be able to make it another round. Uh, we already in the half three thousands. Hopefully, this will get us in the in the hundreds. Now, even though I already know pretty much, my, this is one plan I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the small L and I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, take this small L and then I'm gonna put it right here. Um, but at this junction, one of the things that you also want to look at is if there's any way that you can get a combo and possibly, you know, knock out two or three birds with one stone. I don't see them right off. Um, I can put this in maybe uh, two areas. I can take it and come across here. Uh, I can do that. Or I can take it and put it right here. Okay. Um, well, let's, once I put this right here, let's see if we can think ahead before we even put the blocks there. Uh, if we take this small L and put it right here, what we can do is uh, well that's not gonna be nothing right there but it is gonna open this up right here and we can do something with it what I don't know yet what I don't know yet let's see it's gonna be open up and then once this opens up, then I mean, what's, what will be the best play? You want to already be already have your move move ready before the the, the play even um, even before it's time for you to make that move. But I'm just gonna leave it right there, and uh, I've basically I'm not even gonna end this game right here. But I basically kind of showed y'all how to like even when you got a, a space grayed out. Um, you can play blocks in a certain way to where uh, you still can have plays if you play it in the right order. So we're going to end this and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. At some point in life, we all have had questions and concerns about life and its meaning. Why we are all here on this planet we call Earth. How we can make the most of it. What are we here to learn? What if all the questions about yourself and life in general was right in front of you, behind you, and all around you your whole life? All you had to do is be still and listen a little closer, look a little deeper, touch, taste, smell, and fully experience the natural world in all her beauty and splendor. The lessons of the wise masters and the mysteries of the ancients can all be found in nature.